The tech and digital sector is going to bring the power of cognitive technology to the world. That means the ability to shift from a reactive to a proactive world to create new experiences. I'm Joseph Bradley, father, digital humanist, and the sector head for tech and digital. When we think about our ability to innovate, invention plus execution, at the foundation of that is this simple notion that real-time information is simply too late. It's about being predictive. It's about being proactive. It's about understanding and projecting what is going to happen so that we can create new experiences and new value. This is what we mean by being cognitive. Autonomous is the world's truly first company focused on delivering cognitive services and solutions. When I say cognitive, if you think about smart cities, smart cities are great, but they were focused on really understanding the current environment, understanding what is happening in real time. And when you do that, and they're generating all this information, they're actually only using less than 1% of that data. When you think about a cognitive city, one that's future oriented, one that's predictive, it is all about leveraging 90% of the data that is generated within that city, within the context of the enterprise to create value. If you want to capture all that data, what must you have? You must have trust. For you see, if our enterprises, if our customers, if our citizens don't trust us, we can't capture the data. And without data, there is no value. This is the great privacy paradox that is facing the world today. 80% of us are more and more concerned about our data and how it's being used. But yet, in this day and age, we give more and more and more of that data away. If you thought of your data experience like an iceberg, when you go to a very famous site and you click yes, you want to enjoy it, and you authorize that site to have your data, what you don't see is what's below that iceberg. What you don't see is the 400 sites that you've given your data permission to those sites to do with as they please. You know, at the end of the day, for me, um, it's really about kids. Um, maybe as you get older, you, you start thinking about, you know, how when you leave this planet, you leave this earth, what is your, your legacy about, right? And to me, it's, it's the youth of the world, right? It's, 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 it's experiencing, watching them grow, being able to impact uh, their views in the world and making sure that you're, you're going to leave this world a much better place than it was found. So my personal uh, motivation, I work with a lot of children's groups. I spend a lot of time um, coaching and mentoring uh, young men and women uh, around the world globally. And that to me is what makes me, you know, get up each and every day. Neom is not for me. I'm not at Neom. Uh, uh, to, to build a, a better environment for me. You know, Neom is about building a better environment for the next generation. We have fallen short of our dream and vision around digitization. We've fallen short of that, but no more. We have the ability to, to take what is physical and turn it into what is digital. And we have the ability to turn what is digital into what is physical and fundamentally create new experiences that have never been seen before. We are moving away from visions and dreams into realities and action plans. We are changing our vocabulary from rethinking to now recreating and executing the art of the possible. Thank you very much.